genius always runs to simplicity. What's up guys, my name is Cody and in today's video we're talking about simplicity and what you can do, how you can make your system, your offense, your defense, right, primarily today we're going to talk about offense, is how you can make your offense more simple, more easy to follow, more concise. If this is your first time watching one of my YouTube videos, what I want to quickly do is give you an introduction. My name is Cody, and what my YouTube channel really tries to accomplish is through the videos that I do and the, and the comments and the discussions we have and the products I sell, we really try to teach and help people develop offenses, defenses, basically try to help people get better at Madden. And one of the things that we're talking about today is simplicity and the critical element, something that I think uh, needs to be talked about more and needs to be acted on especially. So anyways, guys, for my offense, one of the things that I really had to learn a, a couple years back was that you can't run every formation at once. You can only really run one formation at once and you can only run one play at once. And so what people do from... What people tend to do, what I tended to do, was I would run a, a formation or a play, and the reason that I would run the play was because I thought that it would make my offense look better. It wasn't about how good I was, it was about how it looked. So, you know, I would try to find all these bizarre plays and try to find these one-play touchdowns. I would watch all the videos on the money plays, and it never really helped my offense get better uh, what it did was every now and then I would I would score a lot against somebody who didn't know what they were doing. But when I played somebody that knew what they were doing, that it was an experienced player that was pretty good, I really struggled and I couldn't really figure out what to do about it. So, you know, over and on, and I, and I took an examination of my offense and of my defense, and we're just going to talk about the offensive side of things. But I, I looked at my offense and I really asked myself, you know, what can I do? What is it that I'm not, uh, I'm not seeing? And when I asked myself this question, one thing that really continued to come up was the fact that my playbook was so large. I was using every formation. I was using, you know, motion. I was trying to use motion to, to trick my opponent. And what it really came down to was I was thinking so much. I was thinking so much. And this is a one of the biggest reasons for you know, in large part, my offensive failure um, for, for most of the years that I played Madden was I was just, it was really, really good against bad players, but against against even average players, I couldn't stand, I couldn't uh, stand on my own because what was happening was I couldn't read the defense, I couldn't make decisions, I couldn't make plays. I was just, I was so hesitant all the time. It was just a really depressing and bad offensive showing. And so what I did to change that was I decided, you know what, what would it look like if I built a whole, a whole new offense? So a whole new offense went through and just revamped everything. And what I did was play it by play. Every play that I put in my playbook, I wrote down on a piece of paper and I wrote down all the setups so that I would remember them. And what I remember taking away from that experience was that I had a lot of plays that had a lot of setups and they're really complicated and really good. But when I started writing them down, it started becoming fewer plays. And what I did was to practice these plays to, to basically to go through them, to figure out, you know, what, how, how to run them. Essentially what I would do is I would go into a game and I would only run one play the entire game I would only, only use one play the whole game. And through that process, it showed me a couple of things. The first thing that it showed me is that is is that you can really be successful with one to two plays. What you need is you need them to fit in the same realm. So what I mean by that is a couple of plays that fit together well are better than a lot of plays because a lot of plays don't really work together. So simplifying it down but they have to work together if they don't work together you're still going to lose so like if i only run one play i know that i'm still going to probably lose because they're eventually going to catch on but if i run two plays and the second play works off the one play i can be pretty effective 
and then you know maybe added a third play for specific situations and anyways the magic number never really came out but what I've been, what I have really come with this season is about five to seven plays that really work well together and you can access those in the premium membership which is in the description of this video but what I would say to you guys as you are trying to simplify your playbook is what I would do is I would start completely over take everything out and then add back in what is absolutely essential so you have a what well, you know you may what I would do is just start with one play so if you if you could only run one play for an, an entire game what's that one play gonna be and then the second thing that you would, and then you would play a whole game with that one play and you just you just run that play over and over again over and over again and then what you would do is if I had to only use two plays and they had to be out of the same formation what would the second play be what what would I use okay what would the hot routes be and again you can only you have to use the same hot routes everything has to be exactly the same so you can only use two plays now but they have to be out of the same formation and you would increase that threshold and what I would challenge you to do is use five increase that threshold once you get to about five cut it off so you're really only gonna have five plays from one formation and you're gonna what I would challenge you to do is use that for one week and if you do that use five plays from one formation out of one playbook for one week I think you would be amazed at what you're able to accomplish if you did that so that's what I did that's what that's the challenge that I did that really took my offense to the next level so just wanna hand that off to you guys and see what you can do but I think this is the best video that I could do to teach you how to really simplify your playbook down, which is something a lot of us really need to do because most people have too many plays and they can't actually run them. So anyways, guys, I wanted to just leave you with that and I want to thank you for watching today's video. Again, if you want the plays that I use, you can use those plays. They are in the premium membership. So just click that link in the description and purchase that premium membership and you will get access to it. Um, those of you that are premium members, if you have not already checked your email or the playlist and um, you will see there's a new video out for the premium members. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and let me know if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments.